Hey, what's up everyone? Got some traffic driving by, so I'm gonna speak a little bit louder until we get over to the other side, but we have a 2002 Winnebago Journey DL, model 36, model number 36 DL. Had the Winnebago, big W there on the side. Kind of have a tan, uh, red, and blue exterior on the outside. The outside is in very good shape for it being a 2002. We just cleaned the outside and the inside, so it's it's looking great. It was in storage, so now it's out of storage and it's all cleaned up. We have two slide outs, both of them over on the driver's side. You can see over here, one for the back bedroom. We'll see that when we go inside and one for the living space. Everybody wants a short diesel. Everybody wants a short old diesel, it seems like, um, that you know, isn't a hundred and fifty thousand, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars. Well, this is that RV. This is a 2002 Winnebago Journey with only fifty-five thousand miles on it, and it's in great shape. It is shorter. It's under forty feet. A lot of people are looking for the shorter diesel so that they can still go into parks, but they don't want to give up the diesel. They uh, they don't want to gas. A lot of people still want diesel. They've had a longer diesel in the past and they're looking for a shorter diesel, um, a quality diesel, and this is a Winnebago Journey, so you know it's a quality diesel. You have a 330 Cummins motor with a Freightline, Freightliner custom chassis. You can see there the emblems, both of those in the back there. You do have a ladder going up to the top. Um, on the other side, there was just some power cords Underneath, I won't uh, open the drawers just to show you that. We just have some large propane tank over on this side on the third bay door down. We do have very large bay doors as opposed to like having four. You just have really three really big ones up here in the front. You do have a um, separate uh, PSI in case you uh, run out of... Uh, Run out of air in your tires. Um, it's nice to have that to uh, fill up your tires. It's not something that everybody thinks about, but hey, you got it here. Just uh, just an extra thing that the uh, owners left in there for you so that you have that with the coach. All right, let's uh, head over to the front door here. You do have an awning, almost the full length. It doesn't extend all the way to the back but um, a few feet left, but you do have that awning going all the way up to the front door, almost all the way to the back. You don't have any slides on this side. Both slides are, um, again, on the driver's side. Everything's in great shape on this rig. Again, before we go in, I mean, you can see the Journey decals, <clears throat> both uh, DL right here on the side, in great shape. It's uh, kind of been kept away in storage um, not used too much, and again, only 55,000 miles on a 2002. That is crazy, crazy low mileage. So, heading in, we have your passenger seat here and your driver's seat. You can see that uh, Freightliner steering wheel emblem right there in the front. You do have hydraulic leveling over there on the left hand side. If everybody is any any if anybody excuse me is ever curious to know you should always um, usually in a diesel or gas have a stamp on your door that will sometimes tell you the model number but it will tell you the VIN all the information the weight and you have that stamp right here on the driver's side door sometimes they're located in one of the shelves that you open sometimes they're located uh, right usually they're located right behind the driver's seat sometimes on the door sometimes right behind it you do have a pretty big uh, front dash up here so some some space up there you have a backup camera right there you have all your controls as well nothing too complicated but they're all handy for you right by the driver's seat you don't have any big um i prefer when you walk in you don't have anything uh Kind of blocking your path to sit in the driver's seat or the passenger seat where there's some uh, big kind of front center console with multiple um you know just you know like a big 
center console so that it's just blocking your way to get into the coach to sit down put your legs through um, and get into the driver's seat because I mean you're in the driver's seat a lot so it's nice to have that uh, space and nothing kind of in the way all right so right behind the driver's seat we have your love seat couch right behind that they um, are recliners so you have a um, automatic button there you can see for the recline across from that you have another uh, couch or a love seat so you have opposing love seats this one is a little bit smaller than that one you do have seat belts in this love seat here I'm pretty sure you don't in this one but you do here it's always nice to have if you have passengers um, or somebody that's just trying to sit in the back and not sit in the front seat that uh, you have seat belts safety first everybody behind that we have your booth dinette with um, again this is another thing to point out because it's uh, very important a lot of the, I feel like on a lot of the newer RVs you don't have a lot of space you have a lot of cushion in the booths uh, and the dinette is or the table for the dinette is like a lot lower so sometimes it can be a struggle to get in and out you do have quite a bit of space for you to um, get it in and out of the booth this is the original booth dinette in this RV this does as well drop down into a bed so you do have some extra sleeping there even though you don't on the couch um, right behind the driver's seat and the love seat is your kitchen you have an oven um, and you actually have a convection you can see right there it says convection microwave and usually you can tell if it's a convection microwave by the degrees you'll have degrees underneath the numbers on the microwave so that's a way you can always tell whether you have a convection or not because this does have an oven so you don't necessarily need it but it has both nice um i like the i like the color of the wood in here it's like not too dark it's um not light of course and it's all original nothing been nothing has been um changed on it or anything like that you do have some nice uh storage space up above here same color scheme here on the refrigerator you do have a norcold refrigerator but it's a really big norcold refrigerator lots of lots of space sometimes these can be a little small but you do have good space in that refrigerator between the bedroom and the kitchen we have your bathroom you have your sink outside of the toilet area just one sink in this sometimes you have a sink uh, where the toilet's at but you have your main sink out here and you have your shower right here in the corner it is a corner shower but um, you do have some good space in there you have a uh, this is a, like a bench seat that pulls down so that you can sit down in your shower behind me is your toilet it does close off nothing too fancy and then this door if you want to just temporarily cover this um, area you can actually push that door to cover um, cover the kitchen space but you do have a sliding door to go over and actually cover that if you'd like to do that but if you don't want to go through that trouble of actually unclipping it and sliding it you do have the door that will just open up and cover that from the bathroom door you have some more storage here in these drawers no washer dryer although this would probably have been the space that you would have put in a washer dryer if you had one you have kind of uh i wouldn't call it a pantry because we're past the kitchen already um but you do have some sort of a kind of a pantry back here although you do have some nice cabinets for the kitchen so you do have space in there but um more of a more of a pantry style cabinet there above we have just some more storage probably gonna end up using this for bathroom storage and uh, more closet space there's really no such thing as too much closet space in an RV when you are limited and you're not in house you're in an RV you obviously have a lot less square footage no matter what so you're probably going to utilize that as a uh, storage for clothes and storage for whatever else you need here are your actual closets you have only one so again this is um 
that other space is something you can use for a second closet. You have uh, through storage. So all these doors here open up to go past through storage on that. You do have a nice tall um, hanging rack for jackets. And you do have a forward-facing bed in the back here. Um, so your slide-out, even though your slide-out is uh, back here, it's the, the slide-out is for the closet space. So this will come in when the side comes in all the way to the bed and go up against the bed. However, when you do have the sides in, you can still get back here and go over on the passenger side and get into bed when the... Um, rig has got the slides closed so a lot of RVs don't usually have a forward-facing bed this does you'll probably find it more often than not in the older ones than you will a newer RV you do have a TV back here which could probably use an update as you can see it's um, quite dated definitely a 2002 TV for sure you do have an updated TV though flat screen in the front you probably saw that walking in but you didn't know that behind that um you'll see these boxes and some people ask what the box is for if they you know if you don't know that is for an old box tv so that's how they put the tvs in with a box as opposed to actually hanging them what they'll do a lot of times to get you a new tv is to block that off with a board and then replace it with a small flat screen and mount it right to the front of that all right, guys. Well, that concludes this video. If you have any questions about this RV, feel free to leave comments in the comment section. I will try to get back to you with answers to your questions. And if you have questions specifically about this RV or possibly purchasing it, let me know. There's an email down below in the description. You can email us and uh, ask any questions that you might have. And as always, thanks for watching.